So, before we start disassembling this oh, yeah. headlights stuff, I'm going to have a sneak peek at this. This is my Suzuki 125cc Cafe Cafe Racer. So, I'm gonna make a video with lots of photos and stuff. Yeah. It's gonna be great, yeah. But uh, back to what you all came here to see. This headlight. Which we have here. It's uh, pretty cool, I think. And uh, I got it from the guy who works in Mercedes and he said it was pretty sliding system. The connectors there you can see the connectors and some connectors under here and uh, stuff so we're gonna disassemble it so there are some uh, clips or whatever right here okay so I'm gonna pop those up There we go. Ah. 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 Yeah, that was one. Yeah. Okay. So all of these came off really um, easy. So now I gotta heat up the glue that holds this glass uh, using this heat gun and. Uh, I'm also using this tool here, just a regular screwdriver to get it off. So the glue is heating up quickly and easily. So you can see here, I'm starting to get the uh, glass off. Just have a little bit left to go here, and then the glass is off. Okay, so we're soon there. Got a good gap here. So I think. Just pull this off with all my muscles. You can see here the glue. Uh, <coughs> Oops. Okay. My got the glue. Got the glue. And there we go. The two parts are now separated. Okay, just take a look at this glass. What a beauty. So, this bottom rail here is in the same glass. Okay, so let's put that away and focus on the headlights. So, if you look closely here, you can see the circuit board, and there you might see some LEDs. 
so that's cool. Right here, the Mercedes-Benz Intelligent Light System. So, let's see where we go to, to next. We have some screws here. Uh, 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 there, and there, and there. So, maybe I'm just going to take this whole thing out of the body. So, find the right uh, bits. Too small, too big. There we go. Okay. Start disassembly. First screw. Second screw. Okay, so I got all the screws out and found a better spot for my camera. And now I think this there's a connector here. It should just pop out. Okay, so our first, oh, really the second part is out. This is the, uh, yeah, I know what it's called, but the uh, light and you can see the LEDs there maybe. There's a lot of them actually. Maybe I'll power this up later just to take a look at the lights. Okay, so we put that uh, this way. Now, let's focus on the main headlight. So, uh, there was some screws behind here that I just saw now when taking out the um, other light. So, let's take those out. Mm, yeah, I think that was all of them. Okay, yeah, missing one behind here. So this, yeah, actually I'm missing this too. So, then getting this off, we have what I think is going to be our third part. Uh, uh, maybe? Okay, let's see. So, I need to get this off to get to the screw. That's there. So, so, so. Oh, the camera is beeping. Ah. Okay, so I managed to get the screw out. And ba boom. And we have another of those connections over here. Ah. And that's out. So, this seemed to be some kind of uh, cover. And it also seemed to be uh, a light here. So, I'll try to power that up also. Maybe. Okay, let's put this aside. I want to show you something I discovered. Because it seemed to be a motor down in here. Which makes you do this with the light. And that is pretty cool. Agreed? Yeah, you better. Hello there. Uh, I've been working a little bit off camera right now. Uh, I did actually have to saw two places. Uh, that was kind of boring. Uh, this headlamp is really hard to 
still disassemble uh, for me. Okay, so let's see if we can get out this one screw. Okay, so this unit is officially out. So there's um, quite a few zip ties in here to hold all these uh, cables. And yeah, there we go. So it's headlamp unit. There's our little. Uh, drive motor uh, or let's see we have two motors actually I'll get a good view of both of them uh, it seems like uh, this is the base and one of the motors is doing driving it here you can see little um, ah, just there with my finger See how that moves, but the other motor, I'm not quite sure. Okay, whatever. Uh, just so this is made by Philips. Probably all knew that, but yeah, Philips. One motor, two motors. Little linkage right there and uh, yeah oops I'm guessing this is the cables for the motors and probably some sensors there are uh, three four five six seven eight eight wires approximately and uh, this metal shielding which is probably for the headlights, which you can get a look. So, yeah. Okay, so the headlight is 100% one, uh, 101% out. So, I had just to cut his wires. I'm sorry. Got this connector out. Just look at it, what a beauty! You can imagine the hours it took to designing something like this. Yeah, just incredible. So, this is actually made in Romania. Ro Romania. And uh, 12 volts. So, put this. Uh, nice place and I also got the what looks like to be the drive board or yeah, some kind of circuit board in there uh, yeah I don't know much about those numbers but I can see it's 12 volts and uh, yeah probably some parts code or something a lot of connectors as you can see, yeah. So, this is what's left in the uh, light. Uh, I can see we also have a motor here. And I'm going to try to get that out. Uh, I should probably lift the camera off, but you can see down here. Maybe some of the uh, yeah, it's uh, adjusting uh, the height, I think. And you can see here on the one side I had to saw off. And actually, there's a adjustment screw, there's an adjustment screw here, and it goes up here. Uh, yeah, that goes down here and uh, out here. 
and you can adjust the light here so that's cool yeah anyway the motor gonna try to get it out you can see it here and the linkage so I gotta get to working keep disassembling this Okay, so I went inside uh, to take a closer look on these, yeah. on the headlights and, and the this light. So this exactly is uh, the blinker or. Um, turn signal light and uh, my plan was uh, wiring these cables but uh, I couldn't make it work and I uh, destroyed one of the LEDs with uh, too high voltage so yeah uh, and this <laughs> uh, turns out it's driven by uh, stepper motors or at least I guess it's stepper motors because it has four connectors and uh, yeah uh, I don't I'm not really the type of uh, maker controller and stuff like that so maybe in the future I'll uh, mount this on uh, in a closed uh, glass cabinet and uh, have a button that turns it this way and another that turns it this way but uh, that will be in the fu future uh, but anyway uh, thanks for uh, watching my teardown video of the Mercedes-Benz uh, intelligent lightning system uh, headlights see ya